this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns. Come at you with a gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the good information. I appreciate y'all coming to the video. Appreciate everything that y'all doing for the 2A community. And like I said before, y'all are the storm just the message of people, just to every citizen trying to uphold the Constitution, defend the Second Amendment. So we're going to continue talking about ammo and everything. And, you know, I've been getting a lot of questions, getting to them and trying to help out the first time buyer or, you know, um, existing buyers out there, you know, because a lot of people have, you know, different strategies and stuff that they're doing. Now, uh, someone wanted to know, you know, how can I stockpile and have ammo for the go to the range and all that kind of stuff? Which is a good question. There is no dumb question, people. To my, there's a lot of questions I ask. There's no dumb question. If you don't know it, ask. And you can get a lot of different information from the 2A community to help you out and you make your decision. So, you know, this is my opinion. Now, a lot of people just pretty much now just out trying to buy ammo. And, you know, a lot of people know how to organize between the calibers and stuff, how much they want for each caliber, for each um, gun that they have and everything. But the problem is... When a lot of people's out stockpiling, you know, they're building the ammo, but at the same time, they also want to shoot. Now, we know in this time right here, a lot of people are not going out really shooting ammo and stuff. They're trying to conserve because of the situation that we're in with the ammo shortage and stuff like that that we're dealing with. But, you know, during normal times or whenever times get back normal and stuff like that, plenty of ammo on the shelves, whenever that time comes. Now, here go my ammo stockpiling plan. Now, when I go buy ammo, I buy... Whatever caliber that I'm buying, I'm buying ammo. And also what I do, I have ammo that I buy that I'm stockpiling and ammo that I buy that I want to shoot. Because, you know, the harder decision for people when they start buying this ammo and see what I used to do when I started out, the ammo that I bought, you know, that I was pretty much saving or whatever, I end up grabbing some of those boxes, going out shooting, and then you start shooting more, shooting more, and then you start depleting your ammo stockpiling. A lot of people make that mistake. So what you should do is, you know, because normally what people would do, they have ammo, but, you know, if they go to make a range trip or whatever the case may be, they will buy ammo to replace the ammo that they're using at the range. Now, you know, in this difficult time here, that's going to be very difficult to do. And, you know, when you go shooting people, you don't, you know, I like to go out and shoot and have fun. I don't like to really try to conserve what I'm shooting. If I'm going to go shoot two, three hundred rounds, or whatever the case may be, I want to shoot two, three hundred rounds. I don't want to be really conserved. I want to enjoy and have fun with my farm and stuff at the range. But, you know, that's the reason why you have to have some type of strategy and plan. I've been telling people for a long time, it's easy to go buy ammo and stockpile. Having a plan is a whole lot better because that takes the, the difficult process of what you're trying to do and accomplish it all at the same time. So if you're trying to accomplish stockpiling and you still want to shoot, you need to have a plan for both of them at the same time. So when you're buying ammo, you know, think about buying ammo, you know, because if I buy two boxes of something, one box I put away to save and one box I have to shoot. But when you start doing that, you'll end up building your stockpile up faster and you'll have still have pl pl plenty of ammo to shoot at the same time. So you'll get to the point where you have enough range ammo, but you still have ammo that you have stockpile. And so you want to put ammo away for a rainy day. Right now, people, this is your rainy day. Because, you know, if you don't have a strategy buying ammo, you end up in a bad position. A lot of people's in a bad position right now. And so you have people who are still enjoying themselves doing this ammo shortage, still enjoying themselves, going out shooting, having fun, and still have plenty of ammo to the side. Still got a plenty of stockpile, a good stash of ammo that they're comfortable and good. So you have to have a plan, people. If you don't have a plan, then, you know, uh, it's going to be bad for you at the end. So learn how to buy ammo to stockpile and also set aside for the range. So you have to divide those two. You know, you can get a couple boxes this time for your stockpile, another couple boxes for the range. You know, just have your own strategy. Figuring it out and getting a good strategy will help you be even more comfortable. So when times like this come, and many are experiencing their first time in this. we got a lot of first-time buyers coming into it. But, you know, after this is over with, whenever it's over with, there will always be another one. There will be another one and another one. But you will grow and learn just like I had when I first came into um, the 2A community and everything. And so, you know, the more experience that you get, the better off you is. That's why a lot of people there, you have some people who not even worried about this ammo crisis because they have been through many and they prepared themselves. So that is the goal that we want you to end up in. Um, be prepared and not be worrying about what's going on when it comes to ammo and stuff like that in your farm. So 
I want to share this and help whoever it is out that need this message, whatever. And I'm quite sure the 2A community has a lot of information they could chime in to help y'all also. So this is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.